Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. How are you doing this wonderful, dark morning? And, uh, yep, we are hitting fall. And uh, good morning, Beth. How are you doing this wonderful day? Hope you're doing well. Miss Allison, I hope you're doing well as well. Miss Vo, man, it's a good morning. <laughs> Miss Wanda, mom, good morning, y'all. Tamika, all right. Romans 12, 2 is what we're dealing with today. And uh, here's what it says. It says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Good morning, Louis. Good morning, Gabe. Romans 12, 2 is what we're dealing with. It's talking about being not conformed to this world, but being transformed. And we're talking about your mind. Yesterday we're talking. We talk about talked about the will of the Lord, you know. Uh, and this morning we're talking about the will too, as but being having your mind transformed, uh, and not being conformed to this world. And it was interesting. Um, I I read a post this morning, and uh, interesting thought process to it. Uh, about uh, generations, how each generation is different um, uh, of styles and, and, and formulations of music and s dressing and, and whatnot. And, and you're like, yeah, they're different. Um, how um, we used to dress in back in the day and what they dress like today um, is different. Music styles are different. And I love it. Um, uh, I even, what was it? Just, uh, I had some missionary friends stop by the other day and one missionary, the kid go, I said, so how's your traveling with your parents? We all listen to gospel music or whatever. I says, I know when I travel with my, my parents, we always listen to country music and he, he liked, he, you know, gospel music or whatever. But when he got alone, he liked, um, organ music. And I went, Oh, okay. So, but you know, we, generations are different. But here's the, here's the fine print to this verse today. It's about conforming to the ideas of this world. And, and, and it's don't be transformed by, don't conform to the ideas of the world, but be transformed by God, uh, the renewing of your mind, by the testing that you discern what is the will of God. It's Good morning, Bob. It's not so much the outer appearance it's the it's the inward your heart um too many times we look at the generational ideas we base the our ideas on the outer appearance you got to remember um whatever age you are that Someone judged you on the music that you used to listen to. So, I mean, back in the day, hymns were, some of the hymns were outlawed. So, and now some of the music that the kids are listening to are like, oh, that music is too loud. Well, back in the day, some of the hymns were, uh, were too loud too. So, um, it was, it's very funny because just some of the history of, of some of the hymns, and uh, I kind of kind of laughed when I was studying some of that uh, history of that clothing. 
clothing was some of the clothing back in the day were like, no, you can't wear that. And some of the clothing today, people say, oh, I wouldn't wear that. Well, generations, right? You gotta. So let's let's not focus so much on that. Um. And, and mom, that's still holy. It's H O L E. Um, I like. Um, the the premises generations again. You know that. Uh, um. Generations is different, but we got to look at the heart, the heart of the person in everything um, is, is where we're looking at. And so we look at this, you testing, you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. And that is where the premise is. That is where we come down to what is perfect? What is, what are we looking at? What are we discerning about? What are we, and that is really, um, I, uh, it's, it's so easy. Um, it's such a challenge for us. Do not conform to this world, but be transformed by re the renewing of our mind by the renewing of our thinking, by the renewing of, think about that, and discern, discern what is the will of, of God. And that is so, so important to, to really think that through, amen? And, and I'm not just jumping on the generational thing, but that was what I, I, I thought about just, just today. Um, because I <laughs> just because I read some stuff and just because I've been watching uh, political stuff and and all that stuff on TV and I'm like oh another political ad but just just thinking about that but right now do not conform to the things of this world but be transformed by the renewing of our mind we have to renew our mind every day just kind of keep on pressing into the promises of God and and really thinking about those and and loving Jesus more amen and so that is so key and so I just wanted to encourage you on that and I think I got on a tangent about everything else but it's just there's so much going on in this world today that that is that is the most important that we focus on the things of God more than anything else and so uh God is good that's all I got to say so, uh, so Romans 12, two, Romans 12, two is the verse that we're looking at, look at this morning. And, uh, so, uh, write this, get your notebook out. Got mine. It says, do not conf be conformed to the things of this world, but be transformed by the renewing renewal of your mind that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Romans 12, 2. Write that verse out, put an O, observe it. A, apply it to your life, and P, pray. So if you have any prayer requests, go ahead and put that down there, and we'll pray for that. Uh, couple prayer requests is uh, we're still praying for Miss Allison's that on here. If you have any prayer requests, go ahead and put it in there. Um, praying for the virus. We're still praying against that thing and uh, praying for uh, uh, Tamika's friend and her grandpa and Watosa. I haven't seen that word for a long time. <laughs> Um, okay. Riots there. Okay. All right. We'll pray for those against those riots and peace. And, uh, and we'll pray for a government having good wisdom. And so, and then we'll pray for unspokens. Let's pray. Okay. Lord, we thank you so much for today. We thank you, Lord God, that you're in control. Lord, we pray for Miss Allison, Lord God, that you continue to minister and touch her, Lord God. We pray, Lord Jesus, for um, 
uh, Bruce's upcoming appointment, Lord God, that you uh, will minister and, and work all things out according to your will and according to your purpose. Lord, we just uh, place him in your hands. Lord, we pray for Tamika's friend, Lord God. You know what's going on there. We also pray for her grandpa, Lord God. Uh, touch this uh, man, Lord Jesus, and minister. We pray for Watosa and all this uh, riots. Lord God, I pray for peace and the calmness that you can give. Lord, I also pray that Jesus, that you just uh, heal this world from this virus. And I thank you for it, that you're going to heal it. And I pray for our government, that you bring it wisdom and godly wisdom in your name. And Lord, I pray that uh, for the unspoken, Lord God, whether it's health or finances, Lord Jesus, that you just provide. And Lord God, uh, give us the opportunity to bless somebody today or even present the gospel to somebody today. Lord, we just give you this day, Lord, in your name. Amen. So I just want to encourage you tonight at 630 that we will be having Bible study tonight at 630. So join us. We're finishing out 1 Timothy chapter 6 tonight. So join us online and I would love to have you join us for adult Bible study tonight. Chapter 6 of 1 Timothy and we'll be completing that book and then next week we'll start on 2 Timothy. So join us tonight at 6.30 on Facebook Live and or if you live in Coffee County, join us in the group and uh, it'll be fun. So God bless you. Love you. If I don't see you tonight online, I'll see you tomorrow for devotions. Have an awesome, awesome Wednesday.